the last time you saw me, I wasn't doing real good. I was having a really bad day. <laughs> Nothing major, just an accumulation of generalised crap. It had been hot, I'd been to the dentist, I was having a fibro flare-up. And, you know, just dress and drama and that little thing called life. And you all came to my support and came to my rescue and cheered me up and, and motivated me on. And thank you all so much for all your support. Anyway, the latest news is I've got to go back to the dentist. There is a piece of broken jaw, jawbone, and it's starting to stick out through the inside of the gum. So I phoned the dentist this morning and they said, yeah, that's quite common. And they are going to get me to go back in. But if I wanted to see the same dentist, which I do, I have to wait two weeks. So fortunately, it's not sore, it's just a dull ache. I've just pulled up outside the gym and I'm just going to take a walk on the treadmill and maybe do some light weights. I feel like my arms need a bit of a workout. I do enjoy the feeling of the, the muscles doing their job. Let's get to it. Huh? I'm almost the only person here. Got a drink. Bought a good spot in front of the fan. I'm gonna walk for an hour while I watch an episode of Vikings. Then I'm gonna go for a shower. That was good. And steady walks and light weights. Feel, I'm feeling a bit worn out, but I'm feeling good for it. Now I'm going to go and have a nice shower. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. I'm very pleased to say that I'm back to feeling like my normal self. Sometime through the night, the heat wave we've been having finally broke. It's still warm, it's still hot, it's summer, but it's not like living in an oven. And having that ease up on the heat and the humidity has meant that all of my aching, swollen joints and everything have relaxed and gone back to normal. So I can actually move without pain, which is always nice. And I'm getting ready, doing a few things for dinner and making some overnight oats and stuff. And stuff. Because um, I'm going to the gym a bit later on for my Sunday sesh, as I like to call it. I don't know what... I may as well get my drink ready while I'm here. This is my hydration drink. I take for the gym because it's so hot and I sweat so much I find that this really helps it's just one scoop put it in a little bottle and I will fill it up with cold water out of the machine at the gym when I get there and I find that because I sweat so much, this helps replace all the hydrolytes and whatever the stuff is. And I don't feel so drained and I don't get a headache after I've been to the gym. Quite often, if I sweat too much, I get a headache and that's never fun. So taking the stuff, um, it really helps. I'll drink that when I'm at the gym and then I'll refill it just with fresh water and drink that as well. And then after the gym, sometimes I'll have another one of these, but not always. I'm also prepping for dinner tonight. Tonight we're having mashed potato and crumb chicken. Oh, yum! I like to cut 
chicken up into little bite-sized pieces. Just dip them in some milk. Give them a light crumb. It's got garlic and Italian herbs and salt and pepper. Just a light, a light crumb. Nothing over the top. And then it gets cooked in the oven. So the chicken is quite health conscious, but we don't want to talk about what goes into the mashed potatoes. You can see behind me that I've already got the, all the things out that I'm going to need later. The masher, the bowl, the pots, the pans, the, everything I'm going to need. If I'm going to need it later to cook dinner, it's already out now. That way, later when I come home, it's less to do. And it might not seem like much to have you know, a dish and a couple of things already out on the cupboard waiting, but it really does make a big difference for me. The more I can prep ahead, the better it is. This morning I also done some editing of my video for this video. And I've also done some filming for an upcoming video about some really nice natural products for um, body scrubs and moisturizers and, and stuff like that from an Australian company called Shampoo With A Purpose. So that's gonna be coming up in well, next week or so, maybe. So look out for that one if you're interested in that sort of thing. Yesterday was super productive as well. Yesterday was Saturday. Yesterday I vacuumed, mopped, washed the sheets, changed the bed, washed the towels, did another load of washing. God knows where all the washing comes from. Um, I also did some editing and videoing and I mowed the front lawn, not the whole lawn, just the front because I was pretty stuffed and I still had a lot of pain. It was very hot yesterday. I was super productive and that really helps my mental health. When I'm not achieving things, that's when I get really down, which was why last week was so hard, because it was so hot, I had pain from the dentist, and I simply wasn't performing anywhere near my best. And it really gets me down. Everything's coming back to normal now. The heat's back to normal. My tooth isn't bothering me. The house is clean, the yard's half mowed, and I'm going to finish the week off with my Sunday sesh at the gym. I don't know what it is about going to the gym on a Sunday afternoon. When I was working full time and I was a fit and healthy person, I used to go Sunday afternoon then as well. And I don't know whether it put a nice conclusion to the end of a busy week or if it's a nice start to prepare you for the coming week. It might be both, but there's something, something special about going to the gym on a Sunday afternoon. It's usually pretty quiet, and back then, oh, the wrestling used to be on TV. God, I love the wrestling, but I don't know if it's on anymore, so I'll just have to listen to my own stuff. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. So after I've been to the gym, I'll waffle around in their shower for ages, and then I'll come home. And I'm going to sit down for the rest of the afternoon and have a nice relaxing Sunday arvo and I'm going to find something really good on Netflix to watch. Oh, and I had a sneaky little weigh-in this morning and I'm just going to say that we're on schedule for a good figure tomorrow. Provided I don't need too much mashed potato and crumb chicken. <laughs> see how we go tomorrow it's Monday morning and you know what that means it's weigh-in day let's go back a little bit before we do that and yesterday afternoon yesterday afternoon was amazing I kicked ass at the gym I worked so hard I had the best workout that I've had for I reckon three weeks and it felt so good came home, I enjoyed my mashed potato and crumb chicken, but I didn't overdo it. My calorie count still came in well under for the day. So that was great. And I watched not one, but two movies. Woke up this morning, the sun is shining, the sky is blue, the birds are singing. It's warm because duh, it's summer, but it's not a thousand degrees. 
I've got plans for the day, I've got plans for things that are coming up in the future and I was ready to jump on those scales. So I did. I'm so pissed. Yesterday, I said I had a sneaky way in. It was a whole kilo less. It was 88 something yesterday. A whole kilo. I have been busting my ass and the scales aren't dropping. And okay, I say, all right, muscle weighs more than fat. There's this, there's that, the other. I have a set of body composition scales. Sometimes they're called smart scales. So it records water, fat, muscle, bone density, um, all sorts of shit like that. And none of them have changed. So I can't say that it's shifting weight. It's just not shifting. It's this sort of thing that makes people give up. If I wasn't doing this each week and showing you and trying to motivate you, how can I motivate you when I'm not getting the results myself? But if I didn't have you to talk to me every week, I'd be, I'd just give up. I'd just say, well, this isn't working, is it? I'd be really depressed. I'd go and hit the tub of ice cream. Now, I know I can do it. I know the weight will come off. Yada, yada, yada. I know all that. I'm just really mad because I was so excited and so optimistic that this morning was going, going to be good. good. When I stop being annoyed and calm down and think about it, I'm able to say that the number on the scales isn't the only way to measure what's happening. I have noticed that my clothes are fitting better, a little bit looser. I have noticed that my body shape has changed and also going to the gym and doing the exercises is becoming easier. So the numbers on the scales aren't changing, which is really frustrating, but there are other changes happening. So stick with it. I will keep going. I will keep doing the right thing. I will keep exercising. I will keep watching my calorie intake. I will keep eating healthy food and I will keep being positive and optimistic because that's what we do because it will happen just didn't happen today so not every day is a great day at home with Karen but most days are so tune in next time and we'll see what goes on